It's Tuesday, October 3rd, and the Uber Waymo self-driving car tech secrets case is heating up. Reports made public yesterday reveal that the central character in the case, engineer Anthony Lewandowski, had direct communication with Uber CEO Travis Kalanick, who is currently not CEO, kind of, and both knew there were possibly some secrets from Google's Waymo project literally in Lewandowski's closet. According to a report prepared by cybersecurity firm Strauss Friedberg as part of Uber's acquisition of self-driving trucking startup Auto, Lewandowski came across some data disks in his home shortly after he left Google's self-driving car project. He let Kalanick know, and the CEO said he wanted nothing to do with the disks and to do what he needed to do, as in get rid of them. Lewandowski says he took the disks to a shredder, but records of that are vague. The report also details a long list of text messages amongst the key figures in the case, computer forensics probes that turned up odd findings, key communications with HR, and so on. But so far, there seems to be no smoking gun that Uber intentionally ported Google's tech to their own self-driving car and truck projects. But the billion dollar plus lawsuit is far from over, so stay tuned and hit the link for all the latest updates. More car news now. In case you thought this electric car thing was just a passing fad, GM would like you to know it thinks otherwise. According to CEO Mary Barra, two more new EV models will be joining the Chevy Bolt in the next two years. And by 2023, just about five years from now, Barra says GM will have 20 electric cars in their lineup. Also in the mix, vehicles that run on electricity generated from hydrogen-powered fuel cells. Cars that run on hydrogen fuel cells are essentially zero emission, just like pure electric cars, except you can gas them up just like a gas-powered car. The only byproduct from the process is pure water. GM and Honda have been working on fuel cell cars for years now, and California is constantly expanding their hydrogen filling station infrastructure. So it could be a bridge of sorts to an all-electric future, but with the convenience of gas, as it were. GM isn't alone in their vision of an electric car lineup. Volvo, Jaguar, Land Rover, BMW, Volkswagen, and many Japanese car makers are all saying the future of driving is electric, so you might want to rethink those long-term oil stock investment plans. Hey, we've got our hands on the new Apple TV 4K streaming box, and DTAV editor Caleb Dennison has been putting it to the test in the luxurious home theater room here at DTHQ. Best new feature, definitely Siri integration for searching for your favorite shows, along with the 4K resolution update, of course. The new Apple TV also features high dynamic range, or HDR support, for improved picture quality, and the interface is lightning quick. Nitpicks, well, it is $180, which is a whole lot more, nearly double, than what you'll pay for a competitor, notably Roku's new top-of-the-line Ultra 4K streamer. But if you're a big-time Apple user and want to stay in the garden, as it were, what can we say? It just works and very well at that. Check out Caleb's full review at the link, and then head on over to digitaltrends.com for the rest of the day's tech news, as well as our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And remember to catch all of our podcasts on iTunes or wherever you get yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow.